two algebraic expressions separated by an equal sign are called an algebraic equation. We solve algebraic equations by performing inverse operations to isolate the variable. For the first question, 3x is equal to 12. 3 times a number is equal to 12. Inverse operation, we divide by 3, and that number is 4. x is equal to 4. For e, we're going to leave the left side alone. 12 minus 4x is equal to negative 2 times x minus 5. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10. We use distribution. Then we're going to transpose 4x to the right side. Plus 4x on both sides, 12 is equal to 2x plus 10. Transpose 10 to the other side, minus 10, minus 10, and 2 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2. Finally, x is isolated. x is equal to 1. 2x plus 5 is equal to 15. Minus 5, minus 5. 2x is equal to 10. Inverse operation, divide by 2. And when we divide by 2, x is equal to 5. For f, we're going to leave the left side alone and use distribution on the right side. Negative 3 times 4, negative 12, negative 3 times negative 5x positive 15x. We're going to transpose 3x, so negative 3x on both sides. 7 is equal to negative 12 plus 12x. Add 12 to both sides. 19 is equal to 12x and to isolate x we're going to divide by 12 therefore x is equal to 19 over 12 for c we're going to transpose 3x to the left side negative 2 is equal to 2x plus 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. Negative 2 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 12. And negative 12 is equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to negative 6. Negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. Distribute 5 to x and negative 3. 5x negative 15. 3x plus 2. Subtract 3x from both sides. Then 2x minus 15 is equal to 2. two because uh, 3x minus 3x is 0. Add 15 to both sides. 2x is equal to 17. And x is equal to, when we divide both sides by 2, 17 over 2. We are going to distribute 3 over 5 and then 3 over negative x. 15 minus 3x is equal to 2x minus 10. 
Move 3x to the right side. Add 3x to both sides. 15 is equal to 5x minus 10. Add 10 to both sides. 15 plus 10, 25. So 25 will be equal to 5x. Inverse operation, divide by 5. And x is equal to 5. For h, we're going to do the same thing. In order to isolate uh, x, 2 fifths of x at first, we're going to subtract 3 tenths from both sides. We're going to subtract 3 tenths from both sides. And 2 fifths of x is equal to one fifth minus three tenths. One fifth minus three tenths. The LCD is ten, so we multiply one fifth by two over two. Two tenths minus three tenths will be negative one tenth. 2 minus 3, negative 1. 2 fifths of x is equal to negative 1 tenth. We can just cross multiply. 2x times 10, 20x. 5 times negative 1, negative 5. Divide by 20. Divide by 20. X is equal to negative 5 over 10. Divide top and bottom by 5 to reduce. X is equal to negative 1 fourth. A literal equation is, a, is an equation with more than one variable. So when we solve it, we solve it for a variable in terms of the other variables. To solve for x, we're going to add 5y to both sides. z plus 5y will be equal to 2x. Now we just have to divide both sides by 2. We can reverse it. x is equal to z plus 5y divided by 2. To solve for h, let's just write it as v is equal to abh over 3, and v is v over 1. Cross multiply, 3v is equal to 1abh. So H is multiplied by AB, therefore to isolate H, we must divide both sides by AB. Finally, H is equal to 3V over AB. To solve for B, we're going to subtract C from both sides. And A minus C is equal to 3B. Divide by 3. Divide both sides by 3. We get B equal to A minus C over 3. To solve for Y, we're going to subtract 3X from both sides. W minus 3x is equal to 4y. Divide both sides by 4. And y is equal to W minus 3x divided by 4. 